to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to look at gold and silver. Uh, you have seen my previous analysis on long term frame uh, where the long term trend is headed for gold and silver. And I think that I have made a mistake in uh, in actually forecasting the long term frame analysis for gold and silver. So we are not going to discuss only long term frame analysis. We are also look, going to look at the short term analysis in gold and silver. Our short term analysis in gold and silver so far uh, in last two three weeks have been really great. So we are going to look at both of them. Um, first of all, um, I'm still researching on WD GAN cycles, and that's where you can say, okay, I can put my blame on <laughs> uh, where did my forecasting went wrong. Um, even though it has not happened in gold and silver, but I think. Uh, I'm changing my uh, my stance from uh, strongly bearish uh, to bullish in gold and silver. So I'm bullish on gold and silver on uh, next I would say two to three years time frame in in gold and silver. So I'm bullish on gold and silver, uh, and I wanted to make it formal. And I, as I said, I think the reason is m my understanding of WD GAN cycles is not complete reason is that there is you have to do everything by yourself the amount of work that's available for cycles is almost to next to none especially uh, WD GAN cycles concept so I think that's where the uh, I'm finding the mistake at it right now anyway on a longer time frame I'm expecting that we probably have completed this wave 1 and 2 and we are right now going through wave 3 and we have also completed wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 are completed and right now most likely we are going through fifth wave and we are f going to see a stronger fifth wave something like that that we have seen right over here as wave 3 so we are to see a stronger rally going all the way up somewhere to around uh, I would say 27 uh, 60 2800 is a reasonable target for uh, gold in next uh, couple of years time uh, and for silver, we'll discuss. Uh, we'll discuss a little more on silver. As far as the uh, shorter time frame analysis is concerned, in uh, yeah, we need to look at uh, the daily time frame. Okay, and that's also I need to see a special data, uh, a special behavior in terms of patterns, so we can actually confirm that we are going to see um, and the longer term, um, three four years, two two. Th I would say not three four years I would say two to three years of price movement going upward so we need to see a signature and I'm going to discuss that signature here then what do, do we need to see um, because we were considering it as an A B and C since this is an impulsive wave we are expecting for the price to go upward we need to start considering this as an impulsive wave and this needs to be considered as a corrective wave since this is a corrective wave the second wave of the uh, movement that we have seen here uh, in that case has to show uh, some sort of exp behavior let me have a look in that case I'm looking for some sort of behavior like this although we have seen strongly price action I'm looking for a deeper price action in terms of corrections and I'm seeing something I need to see something like this okay I need to see something like that that would actually indicate and the first indication that we are seeing a deeper move uh, after the strong bearish move so we need to see a deeper move in this particular degree right over here that would actually indicate and uh, that there is some strength coming up so I'm next a uh, few days I would say three to four days a lot of noise is expected we can actually push a little door lower and then a deeper price action is concerned is expected earlier we were expecting for it to be an A B and C a correction somewhere over here and price is going all the way over here now I'm expecting that if we are to move on a bullish side um, and the larger move is bullish on the upper side and this is an impulsive wave, and this is a corrective wave in which in this case the behavior uh, of uh, the the personality of the wave is, should be different and in that case it should not be price coming all the way down and going all the way up and coming all the way down in that case we are to see some sort of this behavior as I said, prices can actually come a little lower. In that case, we need to uh, do this a little lower as well. And see prices, uh, we need to see a deeper price movement upward. So since we are, if we are actually, as I said, since we are uh, seeing probably the part, the, lar the last part of the move from the top 
uh, we need to see a lot of noise we are going to see a lot of noise to so be really careful uh, for that noise I mean uh, we can kind of some sort of create a side wave structure and then boom up this happens I've seen this uh, happens numerous times numerous times so if you see a structure building up right over here and that is your clue for the prices to go jump upward so be really careful wait for the uh, what happens on a smaller time frame and if you see an accumulation that's not a distribution that's actually an accumulation so if you see price movement on the side wave that is means that the actual accumulation is happening and it's not the distribution pattern and because of that accumulation the next price movement is going to be sharply up alright that will be an indication that bears uh, sorry bulls are taking this area strongly in that case this area becomes a strong support in that case if the price comes down and which is likely to come down <coughs> because it has to complete the Elliott wave structure and I'm going to discuss the structure in a bit in because it has to complete the Elliott wave structure that's how the market moves it moves using the uh, or market actually uh, displays different structures I wouldn't say it moves I would say it displays it displays those structures the nature of the market to display uh, those structures it's not that those structures actually rule <coughs> rule the market is is how the human nature actually is displayed on a two-dimensional chart <coughs> give me a moment so for some of you who are joining me from around the globe I'm right now in Winnipeg Manitoba we have minus 13 and I feel we are feeling lucky with minus 13 we had last couple of two days very cold and I'm just having with my morning tea as well so if why I'm expecting this behavior okay and I'm expecting this behavior in that case we since we are to see bullish price behavior we need to redo that this as well that would mean that we are seeing a crash in behavior then a, a B and a C would end right over here in that case we have an expanded flat and in that case we have wave A, wave B and wave C right over here starting from this one we are seeing a lot of noise coming around uh, to create a bottom this would actually be creating a buying opportunities for gold alright let me uh, do this a bit so we can actually we are not ahead of ourselves too much so I'm considering this as W this as X and this I'm expecting as Y as soon as you see the completion of this pattern we are to move upward that would also bring us to point that we are seeing this behavior uh, the previous chart the previous move as an impulsive move okay and let me go back to our daily time from chart and let's go to this auto and we need to increase the size we have a lot to discuss and I'm going to all discuss all of that as much as I can in in this video okay since this becomes a WXY and we have moved quite a bit strongly from the bottom uh, let's say we went from 1620 to 1960 about 240 ish dollars in a matter of a couple of months and we need to see that this is going to spend some time okay in that case I'm expecting that when we see prices going upward I am expecting that we are going to see some sort of behavior like this some sort of pattern like this is expected to happen and then prices will move upward but this behavior is not guaranteed once the prices move upward we'll examine the structure of this move to see whether we are going to see downward alright but from this point I think for some of people like myself who missed the gold buying right opportunity right over here we can actually buy gold and silver both around over here and that would be reasonable opportunity so this is a major major chain that I'm doing in my gold and silver forecast I was bearish on gold and silver and I'm clearly turning on um, bullish gold and silver and uh, the reason I failed to see is uh, because my understanding of WD GAN cycles was flawed I had I was seeing I was looking at a different chart and I could not figure out what's happening why was the why did the price move that way 
and then I had to readjust my understanding. I can't I can't say the market's wrong. I would only say my understanding of the market was wrong. So a lot of research is going on. We are going to see a lot of noise, and then bullish move upward is expected. This is uh, something that we can actually rely on. I'm going to wait for this noise to come. Uh, if we see a pattern clearly in the next day or two, I'm going to be bullish to to trade this move. And if the price goes all the way up, in that case, I will actually turn bearish to trade this move as well. So I'm going to wait a bit and see how things happen. I had a, a trade myself which I closed on the bearish side. Uh, what else is expected? Let's have a look at weekly time frame chart. I already given you guys that I'm expecting uh, December of 2025 somewhere around uh, to be forming a top in gold. All right, would that be the top top? I think no, that would be not the top top. Uh, that would be probably the second top you're expecting. Okay, so as you guys see right over here, and this screen has completed. This screen has completed. And once prices go hit in that area right over here, we would be completing wave 3 and we will need a correction pattern where wave 4 uh, and then we'll complete a wave 5 right over here. Uh, probably going around 3200, 3300, maybe a little higher than that in that area. As far as price targets are concerned, we need to probably look, uh, see if this happens and then we can actually examine, uh, we can give an estimate what's about to happen uh, in the top future. But I think next three years are clearly bullish now in gold and silver. And a lot of people were saying that they were bullish on gold and silver. I had to see through my own analysis uh, that there is a possibility of gold and silver bullish. And I'm I right now saying that they are expected to see gold and bull uh, silver as bullish, uh, as bullish next two, three years. Here's the chart uh, that we have seen. And uh, let me delete everything. Give me a moment. I'll clear it up later. So right now, as you guys are, the next big question I'm expecting from you, I think, is that is silver a good buy? I think silver is a good buy right now. I think silver is uh, already created a move up, and then we are going to see a price movement right over. Silver has gone much deeper as compared to gold, so we need to see whether we do not create a new low. So I would say this week uh, would be very interesting to see uh, how silver behaves. I would wait for silver to complete this week. And if silver do not create a new low beyond this one, in that case, I am going to buy silver in this range right over here. And I need to see patterns expecting from silver, uh, the one that we are seeing in gold. As I said, the silver is expecting more strongly bearish um, as compared to uh, gold that we have seen. All right. So we need to see some sort of behavior like this one as you're expecting from gold as well. I hope that I was able to provide some assistance. We are going to discuss more of this in uh, days to come. Uh, I'm definitely willing and happy to receive your criti criticism that, yeah, I turned my stance from bearish to bullish gold, uh, and I'm really going to welcome those comments. Uh, we are definitely going to uh, look at it. One thing that has, if this happens and that prices move, especially in gold and silver the way I thought, they're going to move in a bullish way that definitely would solve a major problem for me and that is the understanding of cycles uh, because I have done quite of readings about cycles and I think Gan has found uh, the best understanding of cycles that's why he was so accurate not on only a smaller time frame analysis because he clearly said in his one of interviews that he was able to uh, forecast not only the smaller time frame analysis but his methods also forecasted the long um, trends in the market as well the long time frame trends as well so if that is the case and, and we can see that three years in advance and that gold is expected to stay bullish in next three years it is something right? it tells you the amount of work that he did um, when the data was not really available that much as well thank you so much uh, for being with me have a good one 
uh, be careful with your trading uh, a lot of fundamental news are expected to come and uh, we have going to see a lot of noise in gold and silver be really careful thank you so much uh, stay positive stay motivated and see you guys again have a good one bye bye